Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Game of Thrones, season number 8, episode number 1, Winterfell. That was directed by David Nutter. And I have to say, after two long years of waiting for this show, it's finally back. And for people who read the books, who, who, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because y'all have to wait even longer. If the, books ever, if the final books ever come out at all. Uh, but I never read the books, only watched the TV show. So we're talking about this. So, it's been a long time, and we're finally back. Not a lot, I want to say a lot happened, but things went down. Because we got, we got Jon Snow, we got Daenerys, John is coming back home. And he's bringing Daenerys with him. Now John left the king in the north. They all say king in the north, he's the king in the north. And then he left, and he met Daenerys, and she wanted to bend the knee. He said no, and she got pissed off about that. But eventually, he saw what was going down, he realized what they needed, and he bent the knee. And so now he's not the king anymore. She's the queen. So now he's coming back home, bringing Daenerys with him, and all the people, uh, all the people uh, uh, at Winterfell, uh, um, Winterfell, are like, "Who's this chick? Who, who's this chick? We didn't invite her here. John, we like you. We love you. We want you to be our king, our ruler, our liege. We already bowed down. We bent the knee to you. We ain't bent the knee to this chick. No, 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 no. And so now John's coming back home. He sees his sister. He sees um." He sees Sansa, and Sansa welcomes her brother back home with open arms. And then she looks at Daenerys and said, You brought this chick with you? Give her the side eye. And Daenerys is saying, um, You're very beautiful. You've got a lovely place. John said so much about it. He says, Uh huh. Yeah, whatever, chick. Whatever. And then, they, and, then they, and, then, and then they go and they go off. And it's kind of awkward because John doesn't say anything. And, and Daenerys is like, this, oh, well, I'm trying to be nice here. And then you got. Um, Arya also he he sees Arya he also he both said that he sees he sees Bran running up to him giving a hug and a kiss and Bran's a robot now. Bran's creepy. Okay, I gotta say this. Bran is creepy. He is creepy. Yes, he got the three hour Raven powers situation thing. He can see the past, present, and the future and kind of interfere with the past too in ways. Mm. But he's a he's creepy. I don't think he blinked this episode. Did he blink? I don't think he did. I was watching. I don't think he blinked. That was weird. The way he just he just stares at you, like he's looking into your soul or trying to move it or take it all of you or something. I don't know. It's he creeps me out. He creeps me out. He creeps me out. Ah, huh. like how can somebody in a wheelchair who can't move scare you? It's like this, this, like he can't he can't physically beat you. Maybe. I mean, he he can't interfere with the past by doing that whole mind trip traveling thing, and so he he, he probably can fix it. So you don't, you don't exist anymore. Oh, oh. Oh, I, th I think that part, he, he, he actually can do that. He probably could go back in time, watch your parents about to have sex, and, th and then say, boo! And then say, what? And then you know, they freak out, you ain't born no more, just, you just fade away. Poof! Like this. Oh, that could happen. I mean, not maybe not the boo thing, maybe not just something else, but whatever. I mean, he may hold the door mentally messed up. Oh. But... John's back home. He's seeing everybody. He's seeing Arya. They had a nice reunion. She, he, she still has needles and his sword. And she's trying to remind him that, hey, um, we're your family. Okay? We don't know who that chick is you with. She, she's pretty and all, but we're your family. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. So it's, it's mostly a lot of reunions. Let everybody know where they're at. I mean, you have um, Tyrone Lannister, who's pretty much trying to reassure the people. Because the thing is, though, the White Walkers... What they call? They're they're coming. They got their whole army. The, the, they 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 they're going to kill everybody. And so, and Ty, and and Tyrone thinking that his his family, the Lannisters, is going to come and help out too. Like no, your brother's going to help. He's going to come, but nobody else is because you got Cersei saying, okay, then let them kill each other, and then whoever survives, we'll take over, kill them, and then we we we'll be in charge forever. But we, 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 that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to sit back, let them kill each other, and then we, we reach rewards. Yeah. But then you got her brother saying, that ain't right. These are monsters here. Okay? If they kill them, we're next. We better stop this. And so he goes off and says, I'm sorry, sister. Even though what you got down below is pretty nice, I got to go. But you see her, you see, you see um, Cersei, she's getting her freak on where um, you and Greyjoy, he's come back in there, he's loud, he's mean, he's rude, very cocky, fooling himself. And in a way, 
she likes that. She does. He doesn't, he doesn't treat her with respect. He doesn't bow, bow down to her. He doesn't kiss her butt. And, and, and if she wants him to, or he wants her to do, I don't know. Either who. And he pretty much, and they, she pretty much promised him, her, her, in bed, if he um provides the ships and everything. And he did that part. And he said, but I don't, I don't feel the love here. I don't feel the love. And you think she's going to blow him off. And then she turns around and says, you get some. I'm like, what? Is this happening? Good for him, I guess. Or her. Or both of them. Yeah. So, like I said, we get a lot of reunions. We get to see people coming back together. We, we got, um... We got, um, Sam... Sam... And he, um... Talking to Bran, and Bran is telling him, Um, I think you better tell John what who he truly is. Because, see... And, and, and Sam wasn't really going to do this at first. He wasn't really going to do that until he met Daenerys. And she, and that was a very awkward and messy reunion. Because he found out that not only did she, did she, did he, did he, did she kill her, his dad, but also his brother. And he, so he lost two people in his life. Even though he didn't even get along with his father that well, that still was his pops. He still loved him. And, so, and then that the way she did it was so messed up and kind of cruel, too. Ugh. And so he, he, he just said, screw that, screw her, screw you. I'm going to tell John who he really is. That he's the real true king. And he tells him. And so now what John going to do with that? I don't know. Because John gave up his crown to, to, so, to, to win this war against the White Walkers and stuff. And he pretty much tells her. And he pretty much tells John that, yeah, you give her your crown. But would she give up hers to save the people? Would she put down her power to, to, to make sure... Everybody else is okay? I don't think so. Because I, I, I like the nurse and all. I, I really do like her as a character. She's strong. She's smart. She got dragons. She, mother of dragons. Breaker of the chains. Eater of sandwiches. I mean, she does a lot of stuff. But she's all about the power and herself. And she's, uh, she'll, she'll do anything. She, she'll free slaves to get. But the thing is, though, she's freeing slaves to get power. She's doing all these amazing things to get power. Is she a great leader? I, I don't think so. Does she care enough about the people to sacrifice for, for the greater good? No. Because she, that means she had to lose power for that. And that's nothing she's not going to do. John actually is a good leader. I think, I think John is I think the best leader of all because he doesn't want it. He doesn't feel as though he deserves it. He doesn't feel as though he's worthy of it. And that makes him the best. Because he's humble. He's he, he been, he been the bastard. Treated like crap, cast out, been on the wall. I mean, he worked for this. He earned it. It wasn't just give it to him on a steel platter or he pretty much took it by force. He earned it. And, he, and, he, and John has a presence about him. People want, they want to give him respect. They want to serve him. They want to fight alongside him. Because John doesn't just give orders and say, do this, do that. He would have just, I want you to do this, but I'll be there with you. If, you, if John wants you to get in the dirt, he, 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 he by your side. No matter how messed up it is, he'll jump. He'll jump ahead of you if he if it's though if, if, if it helps the, the narrative move forward. He'll, he'll willing to sacrifice himself, and he did to make sure everybody else is okay. So that when you when you know somebody who got your back, you know somebody willing to fight with you and fight by your side, and not only just give orders but actually d does what he says, and then and then lives it as an example. You want to fight with this guy? You want to say yes? You could be my king. Yes. I will fight by you. Yes, you are my leader. And so now you got all these people who was down with John as the king in the north, and he's not the king anymore, or something back out and said, um, John, I wanted to follow you. You were our king, but I don't know this chick, and so I don't care how many dragons she has. I'm not helping you. So I'm backing out. I mean, in the, in the messed up part, the funny thing is, though, is Leanna Mormont. I love this, I love this character. I really do love her. This girl is so smart and so wise for her age. And we just stood up and said, John, you left here our king. And you came back. I don't know what you are now. She, I, I, to say, I, think, I think I said something else. But, mm. And the way she said that, even though I understand, I understand where she's coming from, but I understand where John's coming from too. Because the thing is, though, John is willing to do the right thing, even if he had to sacrifice his power. To make sure this happened. 
That's what makes him, that makes him an even better leader. Because even when he's not in charge, he still feels as though he should be in charge. Daenerys is that girl who he just wants everything. She doesn't care about everybody else, really. Because the thing is, though, she pretty much threatened to kill Sansa in front of Jon. If she if didn't get interrupted, she would have said it. Because she would be she she leading up to it. She said, if she don't take the knee and something happened. But, oh. Dude, she's about to kill your sister. She's going to kill your sister. Because Sansa is not going to give it up to her. Nope. Sansa will be nice to an extent. And she'll act like she's listening. But she, in her head, she's thinking, I would kill you. In a second. <laughs> but so that's going to be some issues right there. And if she kills your sister, then what? Oh. So, but there's a nice moment in here too. It wasn't all tense and all craziness. I mean, we got John Wine and the Dragon. Fantastic there. Makes perfect sense because he is a tyrant. So, yeah. And even though I do like the love story between John and Daenerys, knowing that, knowing that he, what he knows now, how would that affect the relationship? I don't know. But let's say, Great first, great first opening. I'm glad the show's back on the air. I'm, ha I'm a little bit sad that this is the last season of it. But hey, it is what it is. All good things must come to an end. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Game of Thrones. Did it get you excited? Did you pumped up? Looking forward for the next episode? Leave comments down below. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up. Shaboom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it like I always say in my dreams in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peoples.